Hello everyone and welcome back to Williams Vintage Cameras. Today we're going to have a look at this uh, this very beautiful um, uh, mid 1900s to uh, up to 1912 I believe uh, Kodak number 1A folding pocket Kodak. Now uh, first want to say to open it up if, you, if, if you're able to find one of these to open it up there's a button right here if I can get, get that up close where you can see it there's a button lost it there it is there's a button right there you press it and the back comes off like that so let me get y'all up here up close to to get a look on the inside of this thing now I did I did want to show when I first opened this camera up after I got it I saw that it actually had some film in it. This is some uh, exposed uh, 116 film, this, which which is what this camera takes. I believe I have seen people uh, loading uh, 120 film into into these cameras and actually using them. Uh, the 120 film and the and the 116 film were very similar. I believe what they did is actually uh, buy re-spooled film or. Just load in the 120 film spool and then roll it onto an original 116 spool. But um, let's get y'all over here and get a better look at this camera. But before we do that, I did want to show. I did also get the original case, but unfortunately the stitching is popped. And with this being over 100 years old, um, I tried conditioning the leather as best I could, and I got and I got some. Some really thin gauge needles to try to see if I could redo the stitching myself but as soon as I put the needle through it was almost ripping the leather apart so unfortunately the original bag the original carrying case is uh, not really good anymore I'm gonna try to figure out something that I can do to to hold these sides in where I can actually use it for for display purposes but uh, I did want to show on the uh on the uh latch right there this eastman kodak company and you can actually, if you look at it closely you can actually see the e the k and the c it's very cool and to open it up push that lever right here down and it opens up so let me get y'all over here and get a look at this very beautiful camera okay here it is and let's start off by looking in the back so let's push that little button right there and it slides and how you hold the camera is actually like this so it actually it actually sit the uh, body of the camera actually sits down in this cage so let's get that off and here's the inside and let me see if I can get a good shot of it I might have to just splice in a picture of it the model information is right here it says the model C And, and other information I will I will splice in pictures so you can see the information in here and on the top right here let me see if you can see that the top right there is the I believe the serial number so if anybody watching this if you know, if you can see if, if there is a way to date these cameras precisely by that serial number uh, please leave a comment below and, and let me know and I will update the title of, of, of this video but the body the camera itself is a wooden uh, aluminum structure this can right here I believe is actually aluminum and the body of the camera is wooden which is very nice and it is in very good condition you can actually see some writing right there. It says start the paper under this cross piece. And on the other side, it says the same thing. 
and let's put this back on oh, there's the latching mechanism right there put this back on and I will open it up the top on this one is a little bit bent down I think it's on one of the sides is actually bent down a little bit but it does not hurt the functionality of this camera the this would be up okay to open it up there's a little tab right there push the tab and it pops open this one the uh, viewfinder is a little bit loose so I hold it so I hold the uh, hold that tab back so I don't so I don't uh, damage or scratch it any more than it already is and once you open it up it unfolds itself and there it is these bellows on this camera are in very very nice condition as they still fold they don't they they're not cracked or anything this is a very beautiful example of this camera there's the label right there it says it might might be hard to see it on the in the video but it's number 1A folding pocket kodak And the way you take a picture is you can have it sitting like that for 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 uh, landscape shots, or you can have it sitting like this, fold down the legs, back up. Oh, yeah, and you have it sitting like that, and you look down here and look that way to to compose your shot. Then when you want it in uh, landscape. You flip that up and then you look down to compose your shot. To actually take the picture, you would make sure that this arm right here is on I for instant. The other two options right here are B for bulb, which is uh, as, as long as you hold it open, the shutter will stay open and the other one is a T I don't know what that T stands for I thought I saw it somewhere but I'm not sure what that T stands for but basically when you have it on that T you push the shutter and it stays open you push it again it closes and on the bulb as long as you have it down it stays open and on the eye it's instant I think uh, the specs, I think I heard that it was around uh, 1 45th of a second or around there. I don't know for sure if anybody watching this know, has a more accurate um, uh, uh, guess or information on what that speed actually is. Please leave a comment below. And let me put it back on T and I will show you. Get the shutter open. Not sure if you can see it, but the this numbers down here is where you would adjust the f-stop. Uh, this is before they had a a standardized system for the f-stops uh, for for the f-stops. But let me see. In fact, let me get the bottom. Let me get this open. You can actually see. Uh, yeah, there it is. You can see that opening up. One is wide open one is wide open and four is closed this camera is working very very beautifully but yes there it is there is the Kodak number 1A Model C folding pocket Kodak it also says on the front right here uh, pocket automatic on the uh, on the front right there I will splice in a couple of pictures of the labels on uh, the labels on everything so you can get a good look at it but uh, these this particular model sells on eBay uh, here recently I've seen them for around a hundred dollars uh, I don't know if those had the original uh, leather pouch or not but uh, uh, if you wanted to add one of these to your collection or even possibly use it, like I said, some people are actually winding these with with 120 film and they're and they're actually using them because th this one I could use, but I'm not going to this 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 is this is going to look very nice on my shelf.
I'm going to try to find something to treat this, uh, to treat these bellows to make sure they stay in good shape. But I am still amazed at how, at how, at how good this looks in here. Let's get you a look from the inside with it open. Let me make sure this is on. Yeah, make sure that's on. Let me click that down. There you go. Close it up. Let's put it on bulb. There you go. Even on the inside here, it's in really good shape. So if you can find one of these for, for a good price or you want to want to pick one up on eBay, these are very nice looking cameras. They have the, uh, the later models, I believe the later models after 1912 had black bellows. But um, uh, the red ones just uh, there's just it just so, it just sets it apart and has a real nice color to it. I did want to show before I go. Did want to show closing it back up. You can if you have if you if you don't want to just push down. You can pull out on these on these little uh, on the uh, arms right here. And push in and like I said on mine the uh, things the uh, viewfinder here is a little bit it's a little bit wiggly so I have to hold back on the little tab right here I have to hold that back and then push it in and then it's locked and there it is Well, there's the video on my number 1A folding pocket Kodak model C. Um, I will have a dedicated video uh, showing what develops, if anything, on the film I found in this camera. Because I do have two more cameras that I found film in. So, um, I, once I get those developed, the, uh, the place I go to is a little bit backed up right now because the uh recent world events and um they're only t they're only taking certain uh certain things in so uh, i'm not i'm not sure if i'll be able to send that in soon or not so uh as soon as i can get get all those developed i will definitely have a dedicated video showing what i found on all on all on all those rolls but uh if you like the video like comment and subscribe and uh don't forget to hit that bell to stay up to date with all my videos because i have a, uh, I have a why I have a decent collection of cameras and was able to pick up a couple recently that are that are very cool that I, that I will have videos on so uh, there it is and I'll see you later